JBG Travels subscribers and watchers. And nice to uh, make com um, nice to make com radio contact with you or recording contact contact. Okay, my name's uh, Terry Huntress. Lives in Preston, Lancashire, United Kingdom. Born on the 26th of August 1945. Ex truck driver of European uh, driving and English driving and Middle East driving and Asia. Um, just at home now with uh, Elliot and my wife Marie just watching. Your video, John. Let's watch the one audio content content with the word contest. I don't think you'll want to be shipping anything out to the United Kingdom, so I won't put content uh, con uh, contest. A uh, bit about me. I started uh, uh, when I was uh, 15 in my school. Went uh, uh, as a Apprentice trainer and motor mechanic for a few years. Uh, and then I went as a second mate, which is a second helper on a truck delivering for a while. And then I passed my class three uh, HGV uh, license and was driving for a paper company delivering. Uh, goods all over the United Kingdom uh, with very, very old trucks. Well, it was a long time ago. It was when Noah was a boy, I think. Um, and then I went into driving school, which is not very like in America. Um, you have to pass a medical. Uh, and then you apply for a provisional driving license. And then, I'll just see if it's still recording, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure, John, whether it's still recording or not. I think it really is. And then you, um, where did I get to? Uh, yeah, you, uh, you apply for uh, the provisional license, you, uh, you do your medical. And then you go to training for a week. And there you learn uh, how to reverse trucks. You have to you go onto a private yard, and it's like an S, a big square yard. And there's a, a left hand box on the right hand side, and then there's a cone in the middle, and then a box on the left hand side, which are made out of cones. You have to back your truck out. Don't forget, this is English truck, not right hand drive, not left hand drive. You have to back your truck out of the first box passing the cone with your right hand side so it's quite a sharp turn go down at the backing across at a diagonal and back into the box at the other side without touching a cone and stopping uh, with your back bumper no more than an inch off the back cones and then after that uh, you go and do a brake test and after that, you go out on the road with an examiner. Then you do 40 minutes, 45 minutes driving, wherever the instructor tells you to go. Um, you don't do any reversing around corners, really, because you've already done that on the uh, preliminary before you, before you uh, leave to go on the road. And then you uh, you come back and you ask a lot of questions on the highway code, traffic signs, speed limits, weights, uh, all that kind of thing. And then you know whether you pass or not. And if he says, right, I'm very pleased to say that you passed, you're a good boy. <laughs> you do well. <clears throat> if you haven't passed, you do it all over again. And all the time, and a lot more money. After that, um... I went to drive for a company up in uh, Cumbria, which is about 75 miles from where I live, running all over the UK. Um, I stayed with them for about eight months, a year. All of them, 
uh, went to drive for a company in Lancaster, which turned out to be disastrous uh, because there were a lot of uh, uh, running over hours non-stop and this, that and other, but it wouldn't have been so bad running over hours if you got paid for it, but <laughs> you didn't. They just wanted the loads in and out all over Europe. And then I left another. I left that firm. I went to another firm in uh, um, Lancaster, Morecambe, Heesham, more or less. Drove for them for two or three years, doing international driving. And left them, and then went to work for a firm in Preston, an Irish company, which were very, very, very good. For anybody who knows who's listening to this in English, they're based in Walton Summit in Preston and the Green Trucks. Won't mention the name, but they were absolutely excellent. They give you all the time in the world to get to your destination. You, you know, your, your appointment time, and it was bang on in the matter. If you got there before, they still wanted to know it till, until it was your appointment time. And then they reload you back, and there was no rush. It was a really, really good firm. But with that company, um, I was only as and when required. And that was if an international driver was off sick, and then I used to, you know, we didn't disent me and I'd do the work. <coughs> After that, I bought my own trucks, quite a few different trucks I bought. Not expensive trucks, apart from one. Um, and I run all over Europe and Middle East and Asia. Um, I, I did quite well. I was never at home, hardly ever at home. Um, and then uh, I bought it. It was an expensive truck, and I had a heart attack in Romania. And after. After that, when I was eventually made back back to England, um, I was under the doctor hospital, and my doctor and the doctor said he had to report it to the uh, DBLA, which is Driver Vehicle and Licensing Authority, and they said, "We're very sorry, but we're not going to allow you to have your HGV, which is a heavy goods vehicle license." So. I said, well, what, what happens then? He said, well, we, you can surrender the license and we'll let you keep your license, uh, your car license, we'll let you keep that up to drive up to seven and a half tons. If we revoke it, you won't have any license whatsoever. We'll take the whole lot off you and you won't have to drive at all. So I had to surrender my license. And I was quite ill for a long time and... Um, Never really got back to trucks after that. But all of a sudden, out of the blue, they sent me my driving license back with me, HGV class one and every class, and buses and coaches, everything. <laughs> um, but I, I don't, although I kept it, I'm, I don't really I don't really bother with the license. But as you, as you know, John, I've called, uh, I've got two vehicles. I've got the uh, Nissan Navara, Pick up, which is called after Blue, Miss Blue, and I have the Jeep Cherokee, which we saw on a video the other day, and he said, "Look, there's Terry's Jeep, <laughs> same colour, same vehicle, which is called Baby Blue after Baby Blue." It's grey. Uh, no, my wife said it's grey, but it's not. It's blue. Um, <laughs> Got to agree with the uh, commander in chief, haven't you? But I said it's blue though. Um, she's chuckling over there, she's going to hit me a bit of paper in a minute. Uh, so I don't know how long we've been going on this, John, so... Just a minute. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else. Um, oh, yeah, well, I've watched all your videos, and we've been in contact quite a bit, John, haven't we? You know, um, we've, we've had some uh, chats on uh, Messenger and one thing or other, but for some reason I can't scroll down on I have the uh, where's the videos on the on the big TV, and I can't scroll down to your comments on YouTube or anything. So I don't know. So that's why I have to text you in uh, Messenger or 
by uh, JBD Channel's Facebook. So, uh, I have, now I've got uh, only one horse, and my daughter has, uh, has uh, a, a little horse. I have a, a 15 hands Anglo Arab, uh, which is 27 years old. Uh, she's a bit of a veteran, and my daughter has a 11 2 sh se <laughs> a section. She, she, she's. Um, I forgot what she is now. <laughs> um, she's a section A, well 